The Tektrons remind me of honk droids from Star Wars. Which ones are the honk droids? I'm a big Star Wars fan, but I'm looking it up. Oh, the gonk? Gonk droids? Yeah, I know what you mean. They're like the ones that resupply you. You're good. I looked it up and then it auto-corrected to gonk. Alrighty, um, well, first things first, I, I'm gonna leave the glowing sea, and, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do this mission, um, report to Paladin Dance, cause he brings me up to the, uh, airship, and I really wanna go up there. At least that's what I've been told. Oh, I gotta go outside. But yeah, I can definitely see how um, how the Protectrons would be kind of like those gonk droids. They just kind of like hobble around. All right, well, I'm gonna break into one of these tacos. Boy doesn't sound pleased. Let's say we get out of here. Hopefully, it tastes okay. The Taco Bell in my town is very, very hit or miss. Cantina, cantina music is lit. Random thought. Hey, that's a good random thought, though. It is pretty lit. There was a song in, um... I don't know if you ever played Star Wars Battlefront 2, like, the old one for the PlayStation 2. But there was a song on there that um, I used to listen to all the time. I would do the most Eisley um, map with, like, the hero battle. And I would just always put that same song on. It was uh, one of the ones they play in the cantina. But it's not like the super popular one. But um, what I was going to say about that was it showed up in The Mandalorian, I believe. It was pretty weird to hear. Yes, I remember. Yeah, I love the new Battlefront 2 as well. I played a little tiny bit of it. But not a whole lot. Also, hello, Eve. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Um, bad news, Eve. The Taco Bell that you got me. The chips taste, or they like smell and taste really weird. I'm hoping that the rest of it's good, though. The taco looks good, but you never know. I have everyone VIP to show everyone... Love earlier was great. Also, so much stuff to do for affiliate. Took me hours. Still not done. The hero mode is amazing. Truly get to be Darth Vader and Luke, etc. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And um, there is a lot of stuff with um, affiliate. Like, I don't even know half the stuff with it. I haven't gone in and done anything. All of it. Hard reaching those milestones for Twitch. Yeah, all the milestones are pretty, pretty far. I think affiliates not too bad to get, but um, partner partners insane. Are you ready to head up to the ship? I don't know where you're going. A uh, Fallout plan for today. Part of the Brotherhood. I want to go up to the um, big balloon ship or the airship and uh, do some more stuff for the Brotherhood of Steel just so I can get some levels so that I can um, do the mission for um, oh, I remember this guy's name I just talked to him yesterday get back here. the guy down here in the bottom of the map because right whenever I got to the glowing sea I just ran past everything as you saw last night um, I'm nowhere near a high enough level to be doing this stuff I don't think but I'm going to be right back. I have hot sauce in my fridge. I got to grab.
Okay, got it. Hot sauce. Ah, oh, yeah. Guess I'll eat this queso later with some chips that actually taste good. All right, let's talk to Dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Yes. Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? Oh, now we're both Chads. The Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. The Elder Maxon. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon? Man's a lunatic. Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Ooh, I'm excited. This should be cool. We should visit the memory den and talk to Kent in the back room. Amazing quest line, my favorite one. Uh, where's the memory den? What the hell are you waiting around for? I will go do that. Um, like, for sure, if you let me know where it is. Also, power armor gang. Oh, yeah. Good neighbor. Um, ah, here it is. Wait. Oh, I gotta go outside. I wish that you could fast travel in like safe zones. Can't wait to see what you bring. Not back. necessarily just Location if you're outside. Side. Just because it would be one less waiting screen. But that's just me. Are you guys big Taco Bell fans? Yeah, the inside fast travel would be good. Like, I get why they do it. It's so that you can't do it, like, during combat. Like, if you're in a dangerous scenario. But, like, in there, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just chilling. Oh my god. That chip said that there are stealth death claws. All right, so you said it's at the memory. Where could it be? Ah, here it is. No, and talk to the guy in the back room. All right, let's go find Kenty boy. Right, I remember this area. I don't often say this, but I hope heaven is looking out for you. She hopes heaven is looking out for me. All right, here we go. Down stars. Can. Ooh. Don't mind if I do, heck yeah. None of this is stealing. At least that's what I'm telling myself. The red door in the main room? Gotcha. I will head that way after I'm done looting and scooting, huh? And I mean Ooh, buff out. Bingo. Oh, it's just a hollow tape.
Okay, red door. I found it. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Oh, there's always meds here. Okay. Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Games within. Um. I haven't listened to the show. You should. Huh. They're the best detective stories in the whole world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Okay, so this is the Silver Shroud mission you were telling me about the other day. What's your plan? Don't be mean to him. I'm not being mean to him. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Uh. Yes. NPCs have feelings too. <laughs> if you say so. I might do it if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. Yeah, we got some money. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. I've already the been best. there. I don't think I'm going to have to really do anything. I think I'm just going to have to walk through the place. Oh. Uh, is there stuff in here that I could use? Oh, it's all stealing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Nope. Oh, um, let's... Get out of here. There we go. Yeah, um, I guess I better be nice to the NPCs because once the once the AI and all the robots take over, um, you know, I'd rather be like a pet instead of just like them killing me. You know? Ooh, great weapon in the glass case on the left when you get there. Okay. What happened to this guy? You look just like Sammy, too. Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? Hey, I will remember when you were mean to NPCs in Fallout. Oh, they might, man. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure they know. They know all. Um... Where, where was that store? Oh, I don't have the... Here we go. Didn't have the quest e equipped. The marker. Can't see it because everything's so close together right here. Is it just... No, it's not in here. Super easy to miss why I mentioned. Okay, gotcha. Why can't I see it? Oh, I have a level up. Oh, so nice. So it's the direction that I'm looking I'm on the map. Is this it? Oh, yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't see it. All right, one taco complete.
Ah, it's so nice to eat something after you haven't eaten for a while. Whenever they handed me my drink, like Mountain Dew, I got a Baja Blast. Oh, it looks super weird with the green screen. But, anyways, um, like Mountain Dew looks kind of clear, but the Mountain Dew that they handed me was like carbonated water. It just, it didn't look right at all. And usually I'm the kind of guy to just like leave and then just like not worry about it. But I don't know. I've been trying to take better, better care of myself as in like actually getting stuff that I want. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was nice. I missed that last time I was here. You know, the but I was like, hey, my drink's messed up. And they gave me a new. They like changed out the machine and everything. I think they were just being lazy and didn't want to change it out. Because the people at this, just like the Taco Bell in my town, are very inconsiderate. Like, I get that they're doing a crappy job and that they're underpaid, and that sucks. But I want my food to be right, <laughs> you know? Yeah, we've already cleared this whole place out. Here's the costume. Awesome. Oh, I didn't see this ladder here last time either. <laughs> Is that a crown? Oh, it's a taco. <laughs> nice. Little taco emote. Well, um, very easy, Tiger. Um, you don't mind my asking, what do you do, um, like, for a living, for like a job? I, um, I just make pizza. I'm a, a tosser guy. That's pretty much all I've ever done. I also, um, I worked at Walgreens for a while, but that was hell, so I stopped doing that. <laughs> Freelance artist got hired recently to storyboard a TV show. Oh, that's super cool. I'm horrible at art, <laughs> but, um, I can definitely appreciate whenever somebody else is very good at art. I've had my fair share of awful jobs. Which one was the worst? You had to had to pick. My um my pizza job is a whole lot better than um Walgreens. Walgreens was, um, I don't know. It was just bad. Is bad, bad, bad. <laughs> I think I'm going to go drop off my power armor after this quest is done. I forgot that I was wearing it for a little bit. Even though at the start I was like, oh, we're chads in power armor. Me, Chad, walking through. What's up, Kent? Dang it. Didn't mean to steal that. Here, I'm just going back. Wait, was this before I... Oh, yeah, this was not too sure. So many. Oof. Oh, you really had that many jobs? 
Okay, we're back, Kent. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Yeah, I know he just stole it back off me. I just didn't want uh, Valentine to be mad at me. Or this guy. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. Hey. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvi Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. I want him to be. Yeah, I want him to believe in himself. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being a silver shroud? I knew he was like gonna him. say this. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. <laughs> Reward? Uh. Looks like I get to be the shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbors' streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Let's do it. Let's be a superhero. Or, um, detective? Let's be a detective superhero, guys. Time to go save the city. <clears throat> I'm excited. Let's do it. So, um, they're easy, Tiger. <clears throat> How long have you been streaming for? Like... Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> that, that question makes sense. I'm gonna go drop off my power armor real quick, and then I'll uh, I'll come back and do this quest. Oh, well, uh, successful attacks and bats fill your critical meter. Once it's completely filled, you can unleash a devastating attack. There we go, and uh, you know, I don't really care if Nick's wearing that. He can wear that. Oh no, I'm carrying too much death. I don't know what to draw. You wear the full outfit, you get special dialogue, and streaming properly for a month. What about you, buddy? Wow, that's... I'm surprised it's only been a month for you. It seems like you've been doing it longer. Um, I've been streaming for... Five? Between five and six months. I'm not particularly... Doer. But it's been a little while. I tried it a long time ago, back in high school. Um, but I kind of gave up on it back then and now I'm trying again I did have some test streams months before getting into it you know oh yeah I get what you mean it's kind of um oh what's the word for it just like not stressful but it's it's a big deal whenever it's like the first stream I don't think this is useful. I wish he like sort it by weight. Oh, something that weighed two five. That's 
Drop that. I'll drop a couple of these cans. Maybe I should upgrade my strength once or twice just to just to uh, make it easier to carry stuff. Can I like break down my parts in this? Grab three grads. Oh, you can make a container to store stuff in. I just don't know how to like break down all my parts. The bladed knuckles. They do look pretty cool. I probably won't use them. Oh. Does more damage to lower your armor. Uh, so I guess it would be a furniture item. Stop making me take radiation, please. There we go. Containers. Um. God dang my eyes. <laughs> Oh, my eyeballs. He just lays it somewhere night. Okay. I think I just need to go through and scrap everything in here. Blue coolers are easier than the big ones. I have so many. Okay, I'll use a little blue cooler then. Oh, I don't have any fiberglass though. Let's see if we can get some fiberglass from something. Hey, there we go. Okay. We'll put this baby right here. Boom. Oh, god dang it. I stored it in the workshop. Go. Exit. There we go. Transfer. What? How much stuff can I fit in here? Just like as much as I want? those in there. I know they don't weigh anything, but I don't want to carry them. Wait, wait. <coughs> oh, the vault Tech lunch boxes don't weigh anything. I'll pick those up more often then. I think I'm just going to put all of my junk in here. Wow, two ninety seven pre war money, that's crazy. Alright, nice. That'll help a lot, I think. Um, and then uh, G where there's hey. Nick trade. My goodness. I gave him so much crap. <laughs> oh, that's sad that I piled so much stuff on him. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to take that one. Oh, it looks weird without the helmet. I don't 
Okay. I'm all ears. That's not something I do. Over here. Done and done. I think that's out of reach. Okay. Uh, more junk. <laughs> so much crap. A weight has been lifted off his shoulders. Nice. <laughs> Quite literally. Dude, look at all the weight on my character now. This is gonna be a second. I just kept putting this off because I don't like having to go through my inventory. All right, Fat Man weighs a lot. Where's the? I just saw it. Mini gun weighs a lot. I didn't mean to put that shotgun. Actually, use that pretty often. Okay, almost. Excited? What makes the gun excited? Make a couple more containers and dump it all and take whatever you need. I'm I'm the same, I try to carry everything. <laughs> the sad thing is, I, I like to carry a bunch of stuff for like caps in these games, but now I have to carry stuff for caps and for weapon mods. So that makes it so much worse on me. I think we're good for now.